My dear people of Castry Central, we are indeed blessed to see another Christmas. As Christ comes to us again, let our preparations to receive him be as never before. Let us really receive him into our homes, our hearts, and in our lives. Let us receive him as the ever special guest, the king that he is, and let us keep him not just for the season, but for the whole year, for every day, and for our entire lives. This is my wish for you, for me, for my family, and for yours this Christmas, that the infant king will reign within us, and each one of us will revere and adore him as our Lord and Master. Christmas is a joyful time, a time of laughter, peace, and good cheer. For this reason, we especially remember all those who lost loved ones this year, or who are in sorrow or experiencing ill health. May the infant Jesus come to each one of you in a very special way and touch you with infinite joy. We have tried harder this year to spread the peace and warmth of Christ with our older persons, the sick and shut in, the disabled, the poor, and the vulnerable. We trust that our small gesture will reassure you of our love for you, of the love of Christ, which is boundless. We look forward to the laughter and cheer of the children when we hold the annual children's party early in January. As we end the year, we have so much to be thankful for. I am so blessed, blessed with the privilege of serving you, my constituents of Castry Central. Blessed with the diligent and capable hands and loving hearts of the people who work with me to meet your needs in the constituency. Blessed to serve under the able guidance of a leader and prime minister who is truly visionary and puts country first. Blessed to serve in the cabinet of ministers who are hardworking and have a genuine love for our people. Blessed to be assisted and supported by dedicated staff of the Ministry of External Affairs. Blessed to be loved and cared for by family, friends, and you, my people of Castry Central. I know you have all been blessed by God abundantly in so many ways, big and small. Let us thank God for all these wonderful gifts and graces. Let us do this by making Christmas real this year, by making it Christ-like and Christ-filled. I wish you a merry, merry Christmas. I look forward to serving you in the new year. May God bless you.